Welcome to the Windows Club. I am Karan and I'm here with a video to explain the procedure to manually reset Windows update components. And this solution is usually the last after you have tried everything else to fix Windows update related problems. For example, you ran the troubleshooter, it didn't help. You reset the services, it didn't help. You deleted the cache files, it didn't help then you can choose to manually reset the windows update components to default the easier method to do it is using the fix windows update utility which has been explained in this article on the windows club we would be sharing the link to it in the description section you would have to check this article anyway if you wish to do this manually then the procedure is as follows Type command in the windows search bar and corresponding to command prompt select run as administrator to open the elevated command prompt window. Now the first step is to stop windows update services. The background intelligence transfer service, the windows update service, cryptographic service and so on. So we will copy these commands one by one and paste them here. In case a service is already stopped, it would mention it. In case that service is not stopped, then it will stop it. Now we will stop these services one by one. And lastly, the cryptographic service. Here it goes. As you can see, a lot of services were not even started on my system. So there was no point of stopping them. It says the application identity service is not started. So it's okay. It is stopping anyway. And the cryptographic service is stopping. Now it has been stopped successfully. Then we delete the umgr.dat files. This can be done using a simple command. I will copy it and paste it here. It says we could not find it. Let's see. Then we will flush the software distribution and cat root to folders. We will simply copy this command here, hit enter, and then for the cat root to folder. Next, we would have to reset the background intelligence transfer service and the windows update service to the default security descriptor. The commands are again given here. So I'll copy it and I'll paste it here and it says success. Then I'll do it with the next command. It says success again. Now we'll open the system32 folder. So I'll copy and paste this command here. Okay. Now we are in the system32 folder if you didn't notice it. Then we will re-register these DLLs and we will have to copy paste each command one by one. So just keep watching through it. Once I have re-registered the DLLs, I will reset the Winsock. So the command is simple, netsh Winsock reset. I'll copy and paste it here. And hit enter. It says you must uh, restart the computer in order to complete the reset. And thus I'll pause the video and come back after resetting the computer. Starting my computer and opening the elevated command prompt again i will restart all the remaining windows update services and then it would be done so simply copy paste these commands here and hit enter you know they say that you have to enter each command one by one and then hit enter after this 
However, here I copy pasted these commands as a whole with a gap between each one of them. So I simply copied them and did a paste here and it worked as you can see. So that isn't exactly a criteria. You can uh, copy and paste all of them in one go and it does work and now Windows Update will work well on my computer. If you have any doubts with this procedure, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.